There are the protesters. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far. And the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution organization. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? I have pamphlets. Here, take one. Oh, yes, Yannick called and said something about an investigation into an apartment break-in. He didn't elaborate. And I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. But if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. How can I help? We found human revolution graffiti spray painted all over the apartment, and some things were stolen. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. But... Off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. I'll look into this matter personally. And if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. Is there something else I can help you with? What questions can I answer for you? We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make before it's too late. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. But now we're changing the very things that make us human. Our biology, with nothing to ensure our safety, the revolution we're after is humanity as a whole making the decision to remain as we were created and return to how we lived before genetic science put us on the wrong course. This world is Icarus flying too close to the sun. It's only a matter of time before our arrogance becomes our demise. 
just because we can doesn't mean we should. Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. If you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. However, we must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. The human revolution has faith that American democracy will win out in the end. It falls to us to make sure that people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. Is there something else I can help you with? Of course! If you have any other questions, feel free to come back. I always have time for the press. You clearly missed doing real journalism. I'm impressed. I think you're starting to get back into the hard-boiled investigative journalist thing. Hopefully we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped. I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the MeshNet had led me to believe. Oh, well, he didn't appear to be lying, but I'm not equipped with interrogation sensors. You have more experience with this than I do. Do you think he was telling the truth? Hmm. I'll continue observing you and try to discern how to read people as we question them. A useful skill I find myself sorely lacking in. Lead on. And don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. mistaken. Apparently it is owned by the Hassi Bar, based on this identification marker.
mine is the most adorable little Rom. What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? It's so moe. Oh, wow. You don't see a whole lot of those around. Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good. With the home printer, too. I'm impressed. Anyway, what can I get you? A drink I can do. And I guess I have some time to talk. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Filling up my bathroom, too! Jerks! So, what do you want to know? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. Well, technically, it's property of Hassie Holdings. We spent some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. Otherwise, no touching. I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. I guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan and bought this place. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. My priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls. In that order. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. So I'll be voting appropriately. And if I have to unclog one more toilet because of an entitled bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind! Oh, you can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cap crash when I was a kid. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist! What more do they want? Sorry. Attack you speak. I just mean he's really cute and lovable. And you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? A lot of otaku come around here. Probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. Of the present. You know what I mean? 